chain is as strong as its weakest link. We need everyone, we need everyone giving what they can. I think what's important is that people realize that it's not just a building. The time is right, almost there. We just need this last push. We've got great parishioners. They, uh, they've made a lot of sacrifices for many years. This beautiful church is an example of the sacrifice that so many of the parishioners made. A commitment not too long ago. And through that sacrifice, they've built what I think is one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful church in our diocese. I've noticed more than any other parish that I've attended that there's a real sense of community here. And the glory are yours it's a very welcoming parish, so that was one of the things that really attracted me from the beginning. We want to help everyone get closer to God. And certainly we want to take care of people's needs on the physical, emotional, and spiritual levels. And we want to go beyond our backyard. Keep us alive in Christ Jesus. Keep us watchful in prayer and true to his teaching. We've reached a point now where we've built a beautiful church. Our parishioners have built a beautiful church. But we have a real need to, to bring our people together, a gathering place. We've reached that point now where just to be outside or to be in three small rooms just doesn't work for us with no kitchen. So much of a part of, the, of who we are and what we're about brings our community together. With a new parish center, we will be able to draw more families into this church and people will be able to use the parish center for wedding receptions and other receptions that we currently are unable to have at this parish. Right now it's in, you, know, you, you go to mass and then you leave. And it's really just because we, we don't have, you know, right out there in that hallway, we just don't have enough room for everyone to congregate, talk, you know, get to know each other. And especially during the summer, it's crazy hot outside. And, you know, it's, that's not really much of an option. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Good morning to you. God put us here for a reason. He has a mission for us to do. But... We need space to do that. And even our bishop, when he first came and saw this beautiful facility, he said, you know, for as big as your parish is, you need a hall. Not only have we got a great building committee, but a committee that's asked themselves, really, and asked many of our parishioners through the various ministries, what would be good for St. Bernard's? What would look good? What would be a good gathering area? And so we really want to emphasize, once you leave the church, that there's a beautiful courtyard there. We can have potlucks uh, at our, in our kitchen, and I love to cook. And there's a lot of people who love to cook in this parish, and they're good cooks. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll do a lot with food. Food brings people together. Well, this allows us to serve the people. You know, at point, this point in time, you know, we're stepping on each other's toes with meetings. We have portable partitions that are not soundproof. And to have functions and meetings where people are, you know, trying to fellowship and worship, it's, it's a privacy issue is really somewhat of a problem for us. When we get to a full-time facility, we have separate rooms, you know, ministries will be able to flourish and grow. I think what's important is that people realize that it's not just a building, that it is uh, designed to enhance our community. We also have a lot of young adults in this neighborhood, a lot of children. And we would also like to be able to have a center for the children and a center for the teenagers so that they have some place to come and be able to um, enjoy the, the parish life. And currently we don't have that opportunity. We raise money for charity, so this is our fundraiser. Like, you know, you've got the uh, parish gathering in the back with donuts and then our life teen meeting and it's hard for Father Brian and other you know visitors and speakers to speak over other people sometimes and it can be distracting. I mean you look at some of the, the other local Catholic parishes they have their youth ministry set up really well and it's unfortunate that we lose our parishioners here because many of them go over there where they can have their kids or the you know the teenagers themselves are far more enthusiastic about going to a better established program where they have the facilities, they have the games, they have, you know, the Bible studies. The prayer is the nourishment. 
Lord, I'm hungry. As a parishioner, we use this parish and we use our priests every day, whether it's to go to the hospital or whether it's for a wedding or a funeral or for counseling, for our children's religious education, for our own religious education. And I feel that if everybody just gives a little bit at this time, we could meet our goal. Father Brian has told people, look, I know you have families, I know you have obligations, and we're going to make this one way or the other. And I think traditionally our parish has always pulled together and finances have really never been a difficult situation for us to overcome because of the, the generosity of all of our parishioners. I will praise your name forever. A chain is as strong as its weakest link. We need everyone, we need everyone giving what they can. The Lord said, give from your need. You know, it's easy to give from our surplus. But he said, give from your need. See, that's real love. I will praise my King and my God. So that's our challenge. We've come a long way. We're well on the way there, again, through the generosity of our people. But I would like to see us now be able to put in the things that we want to put in, not being extravagant, but things that we need to make it a wonderful parish center and at the same time, build for the future. Do you know of our 14 and 1500 families really just four to five hundred families are really supporting the parish. We actually have data that shows us that a thousand of our parishioners contribute just two to three times a year. That's not right. We can't pay our bills, we can't continue as a parish if this is what really happens. It's placing a heavy burden on the minority of parishioners. And so I came up with the idea, it's not unique, even some of our parishioners are doing this now, that we have the parishioners that use our envelopes, and I'm so grateful for that. That's wonderful. But we have some parishioners now that allow us to do the direct deposit. We're very discreet about that, but each week or each month to be able to say, look, we're part of St. Bernard's, this is our parish, this is our family. We want to make that commitment, whether we're here, we're somewhere else, we're doing something else, we're away, that we're making sure that St. Bernard's is taken care of. So I ask you to think about that. As I said, there's going to be materials that are presented to you. I ask you to prayerfully think about it and then say, hopefully, yes, we know that we can make this commitment and we want to make this commitment. This is our parish. This is our parish family. And it's a commitment beyond the parish. It's really a commitment to God for all that he's given and all that he continues to give in each of our lives. So thank you for helping me through. It's a difficult thing to, to bring up. I know that and I feel that. I've oftentimes said I'd rather walk through um, a whole coal full of hot coals rather than have to speak about this. But it's part of the reality of being the pastor of a very beautiful parish, wonderful parish. We try to be good stewards of the finances that you give, and we will continue to do that. Thank you.